Don't need you to tell me you were wrong Swear my mind erased you the moment we were done All out of me Take that dick Take that big dick. First fucking YouTube video. John takes that big dick. Go for it. First YouTube. And I need to beat my lower body. Can you use a beat? Yeah. yeah I can't use it. I like it. I don't use it. I just... Nah, mate. Oh. Knock, knock. Something real, something raw, not accidental, no I'm sure You're not needed, show you the door, but what's that, what's that, yeah, are you sure? Yeah, that's a rental, yeah, what I bought, lying, lying, nothing in your core Buying, buying, yeah, what for, but do what I need to, always sure Something real, something raw, not accidental, no I'm sure You're not needed, show you the door, what's that, what's that, yeah, are you sure? Yeah, that's a rental, yeah, what I bought, lying, lying, nothing in your core Buying, buying, yeah, what for, but do what I need to, always sure Boring, never been that, I get paid, bro, just to relax Yeah, more money now, yeah, more tax Suited it now, don't worry about that Boring, yeah, I've never been that I get paid, bro, just to relax Yeah, more money, but yeah, more tax But suited it now, don't worry about that Flexing, yeah, but your soul is empty Dripping in diamonds, Fenty Dripping in vibes, got plenty Got the technique, yeah, like Jet Li, ow One little chop, like pow One little hit, like wow Living for the now, live for the sound Nice for the dollar, but I'm making a pound, yeah Worry about, worry about that Nah, no, don't worry about that Worry about that, worry about, worry about that Like, nah, no, don't worry about that Something Worry about, worry about that Nah, no, don't worry about that Worry about that, worry about, worry about that Like, nah, no, don't worry about that Something real, something raw Not accidental, no, I'm sure You're not needed, show you the door What's that, what's that, yeah, are you sure? Yeah, that's a rental, yeah, what a bore Lying, lying, nothing in the core Buying, buying, yeah, what for? Do what I need to, always, sure, always, sure, always, sure Something real, something raw Not accidental, no, I'm sure You're not needed, show you the door What's that, what's that, yeah, are you sure? Yeah, that's a rental, yeah, what a bore Lying, lying <clears throat> What's good, uh, YouTube? This is the first video back in months, months, and months. So, um, what's been happening basically? I just didn't really have like the time to do YouTube anymore, or I didn't really feel like I had a purpose or anything to film or a story to tell since it came off like the back end of my shows last year. Um, quick recap of that. So last year, August 20th, did the UK DFBA Classic, came second, did the bodybuilding short as well in the same uh, same show, came third, uh, moved on to the NPA in September, did bodybuilding short again, but it was like bodybuilding under, I think it's under 70 kilo, and I weighed in at like 60... Five, six, six, sixty-seven, something to add. I don't remember. Um, weight was fine though. Um, weird. Yeah, it was way under the weight cap. Uh, bit of a mad situation that drove to Sheffield the day before the show. Got my tan. The woman who was doing the tan was like, "Oh, I'll be back here tomorrow for your top-up tan at seven And I was like. Stupidly, it was like seven seven a.m. Yes, and I was like, "Oh, numb nuts here." Booked no accommodation because show arena didn't open till eleven. So I thought that's when we start getting tans. Maybe just like ten o'clock. I could just drive there in the morning, get tan, and go on stage. But no, uh, so that was an early start. Didn't look great in terms of physique. Didn't take any food or such either. Um, so we had to like really roll the dice on stuff came second so it wasn't too bad um then moving on three weeks after that we went to the finals for the uk dfba in leicester that there was um an eye-opening experience of to like what is capable in the natural division the guys who were the top five were unbelievable the guy who won then went to vegas to do amateur olympia he won that and then he also got his pro card with them and i think he came second in the pro show if not he won he was unbelievable nice guy uh fast forward into the new year we rolled into a maintenance so this was the start of the off season october time 
New training plan, got to work on my weaknesses, which was my back. Um, can't say I enjoyed it to begin with because with any weakness, you're not going to enjoy training it. It is what it is, but persistence, stuck with it. 10 months just doing the same movements over and over again, making sure I had like heavy dumbbell rows, so took it back old school. Uh, I was stiff leg deadlifting as well, working my way up in the weights and reps on that and working through the form to make sure that like I was nailing every rep for every set. Uh, in terms of like say like upper chest sort of thing, moved to dumbbell incline again, didn't want to do that because I've been so uh, religious with like hitting machine work in the year before. So I don't think I did any free weight work um, in the off season before this one. In fact, I don't fit. No, I didn't do anything. Uh, I just literally stuck to machines because in my head it was like, I can load up weight, I can get the stimulus I want, I can hit the muscle group I want and reduce risk of injury. But in the off season this time, I thought I've got to go back a few steps to then go a few steps forward. Or well, that was literally how I thought I should attack this off season. To be fair, I think it's paid off. Uh, now I'm getting leaner and stuff. We are starting to see where I've developed a bit more of a physique. Um, as I'm recording this video now, we are five weeks and six days out from show day. Um, but I trained with Ollie today, which you've just seen on the video, the clips there. We did a push session. He's actually one week out from his first show with FedEx in Leeds. And then we're both going to do the PCA whole show in November. So November 10th, we're going to hit that up. Hopefully going to get into the same category. Um, that'll be mint to be on stage together, get some photos. we we'll get loads of photos in the gym, but to be getting one on stage together would be class. Uh, but what else happened this year? Obviously, I had the off-season. Uh, I got married this year in June. We had a family holiday. First of its kind. Unbelievable. It's been a really, like, relaxed approach to, like, this off-season in terms of, like, having more varied foods. Haven't just stuck to the same three meals every day. I've kept like my breakfast and my dinner roughly the same, but my teas have been different pretty much every night. And with that variation in food and mouth season, it's helped in this prep to be um, not so shit scared of food. Like I've had things in this prep, which two years ago when I was doing this, I would have been like panicking that I'd like ruin my physique. But this relaxed approach, it's not really relaxed. I'm still working with my numbers and hit my protein and stuff. But the relaxed state of mindset, I think, reflects in my physique. So because I'm not stressed about stuff, I don't feel like I've, I'm showcasing a stressed physique. Although maybe I've done in the past couple of weeks because having an absolute nightmare with my own car. So this is not my car. Um, it's in the garage. This is moving into week five of it being out of action. Um, so annoyingly, like having to ask for lifts, uh, here, there, everywhere, borrow, like, uh, Amy's car, for example, like today, um, yeah, just a bit of a headache, an inconvenience, but it's just one of them things, really, we just keep moving, so therefore, because that's been such a hassle, the prep side of things has been, uh, I wouldn't say easy, because it's never easy, but it's not been as bad as what it could have been or how it has been in the past um we don't do this whole digging into the trenches vibe like i want to enjoy it um yeah it's a it's just a different way to skin the cat and most people won't like it we don't like to do it the 80s way we're doing it the new way and Makes it more enjoyable. Training's better. Life's better. You're a better person because of it. Yeah, so as relaxed as we can. Uh, that's a bit of an update on that sense. Said I need to get the YouTube back for you guys because I know when we was doing it, I know you enjoyed the journey and stuff. So now we haven't just got my journey. We've now got Ollie's journey as well in this last six weeks. I'll record as much as I can. Probably do like a youtube video every week if i can do it every few days i'll do it in a few days but yeah i'll stop waffling now um and then just get on to showing you some other stuff
So currently this dinner today is chicken, salad, cheese and sriracha sauce because sriracha, you can get away with having a minimal amount of uh, grammage and calories will be low but the flavour is packing your punch like no tomorrow. So here, jerk chicken, carrots, peppers, cucumber, tomato, uh, one baby bell cut up because the baby bell's at 47 cows. So I'm going to smash this and wait for the next client. What's good everybody? So we are back home again. Um, I'm just making my tea, which is going to be, um, I'm going to have some chicken bagels. Uh, I've also made a nice ice cream dessert, which is just simply uh, low fat Greek yogurt. And then two scoops of the, at the minute, probably wasn't even in shot then, but the applied nutrition, salty caramel, the white bueno one absolutely slaps but I've run out because I just have it every day. Smashed it, gone. So I had to get this one quick, quick replacement, but we've got Nando style chicken in the air fryer. So we've gone with garlic and herb seasoning, a couple of bagels, um, fill that out and smash that. And then that'll be the end of today. And then I'll film tomorrow's workout, which will be a pool session. I'll be on my own. Um, then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, bit of content Saturday hopefully and then I'll just put it all together and that'll be week six or six weeks out from show day. Um, each day a little bit of an update. Hopefully you, hopefully you enjoy this little journey that I'm going to take you on. It's not going to be long, six weeks up to show day. Show day will be a good one and go from there. So if you enjoyed the video, please like it, subscribe to the channel and leave us a comment below with anything you want to see in future.
it's hard, it's not impossible Tell them there's no limit, I'm unstoppable Stop myself and guilt, then it's possible Nobody else, nobody else will play the fool Maybe I was born just to break the rules Stop the water for the money and fill up my pool Not my morals or my dignity, we keep it cool Just to work for the system, use you like a tool How efficient do we use ourselves? That's like the story you're telling someone else's tales All that cheer chat, that cheer chat will make you feel Chat worry less and really worry about yourself I like the hard The hard be with damage health. Listen to that voice within, gotta know yourself. Don't worry about a thing, everything is going well. Let enter my inner child, I've gotta tell you something else. All the pain in your brain will make you feel. All that pain in your brain will make you feel. hope you're well um so that is the first youtube video today um or this week so i just managed to film a little bit to try and remember to film a little bit more as i get more into it again um some of the food in there some of the training some of the posing uh i bought a new car today um i say a new car it's an old car it's a banger but i'm having problems with my golf so therefore i've had to buy an absolute run around and I'll show you that in the next clip, but uh, yeah, so we got that today. Um, that's been my biggest problem in prep, is the transportation issue. Prep itself's been easy. Jackson, say hello. Yeah, so that's been the most difficult part, is just like getting around, getting to the gym, getting to work, um, getting to the shops, etc. Just a weird inconvenience when you've gone from having a car every day to not having a car. It's just very, very strange. But done the best not to let it get the better of me. Um, it's still an ongoing problem though. And it probably still will be even when I come to compete. But we're just going to try and make it work. Uh, I'll show you what I'll be having for my food tonight. It is currently Saturday the 5th of October. Um, you'll be surprised by what I have. Most people are not having this sort of thing in a prep, but we are and we have done the whole time. Is it maybe the most efficient way to do a prep? Who knows, but we're here to try it. We're relaxed. Um, we do things differently over here. Um, and yeah, we just want to show you what is possible with a different sort of mindset and a different little, uh, different way of life. Um, I may have already said it in the video, but I haven't. Please like the video, please subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below. Give us any feedback you like, some love would be great and a massive good luck to Ollie as he competes tomorrow. So this video might be out by the time he's competed. All being well, so that's his first competition, FitX tomorrow. And then we're both going to go smash up the PCA in Hull in five weeks time. So yep, peace, thank you and good night.